On today's episode of Learning, we're going to show you how to do an effect that looks something like this. I wish I had a ukulele, because I have a song in my heart. Ooh! Nice! Yeah, hey, yeah! Hey guys, I'm Bobby. I'm Brent. And you're watching this episode of our show called Learning with Bobby and Brent. Okay, Brent, what Bob, are we doing today? Robert, Robert, what we're doing today is Brent we're doing- <laughs> Brent, it's Brentington, actually. Brentington, sorry. sorry. Yeah, it's, it's from Old I, English. My, my, my family was a great house in England, Northern house England. House Godin, Brentington of House Godin. Exactly. I like it. Uh, today we're doing a smoke poof effect. Whoa. Think a little Chris Angel here, mind freaking you. Oh yeah. yeah, you mean video editing freak? Mind freak! My name is Chris Angel. <laughs> All right, so, so that's, that's uh, kind of so, yeah. what we're doing today. You saw cool. it in the beginning of the episode, so uh, I don't think it needs much more explanation than that. Let's just uh, dive right in, Let's show these folks right how in. to do it. So here we have our Premiere file open. Cool. And we're gonna go into our folder where we have recorded our own little video for this tutorial. Yeah, our own little video. Our own little video. So let's cut this up here. So let's drag it in. I look so sad with that ukulele there for a moment. Yeah, you look really, really sad. There was a moment there before I realized what had happened and I became joyous. <laughs> yes, Brent did not know he was going to get a ukulele here. But bam. <laughs> I think I also looked like I haven't slept in a while, which is true. Yeah, I feel like we need some sound of silence zooming in on your face there. You can't sing it. Yeah, you That's can't okay. sing it, unfortunately. That's too bad. You, you get the idea. You hear it in your head. The way we're going to edit this video is we're going to basically take this clip of Brant being sad with no ukulele. Mm -hmm. Action, Brant. <sighs> I wish I had a ukulele, because I have a song in my heart. So Brent has a song in his heart. Yep. He needs to get it out. It needs to come out. Song in my heart. And we'll stop it right there. And we just want to cut this up so that right when Brent wishes that he had a song in his heart, the ukulele pops into his hands, and then he freaks out and he's like, Oh, schnitzel. Yeah, schnitzel. Okay, so we have the video. Let's take a look at the way we've cut it. Okay. I wish I had a ukulele because I have a song in my heart. Whoa. Nice. Yeah, hey, yeah. I love the song. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was feeling very Scott Stappy, you know? All right, so let's, uh, let's go to YouTube. Okay. And now we're going to look for a smoke poof. Overlay, All and right. you can just search that, mm -hmm. and uh, we're gonna find a good smoke poof. Look at that, that's a pretty good smoke poof. That's pretty good. Uh, I actually used this smoke poof in a previous video, Thomas Driving Future. So yeah. if you want to check that out, yeah, look at this right here. Go another check example of that. Yeah, pretty another, cool. Another example. So let's uh, let's download this. If you uh, if you don't have a YouTube download button, you can uh, get one. We use uh, I believe this one's called Umi. Yes, we use the Umi Video Downloader. Okay, so we have downloaded our smoke poof. Now let's go into here and let's take the footage. So we're just gonna drag the video right in just by dragging the video only from the source monitor here. So now we have our poof in our timeline. Boom. Poof. So let's drag smoke, the poof smoke. right above Brent here. Boom, right when he gets the ukulele, the poof goes off. So let's go over to our blend mode and let's scroll down. Let's look at a few of the options we got here. We got multiply, which kind of reveals Brent behind the background. We've got darker color. And once we start getting into these blend modes here, you'll notice that uh, it takes away the black background and leaves anything that's not black, basically. Okay. So we okay. have these two options. We got lighten and we got screen. Sure. Now let's see which one looks better when we kind of put it up there. Or we got linear dodge, which I like that one. I think linear dodge looks pretty good. Um, I don't know. I feel like the, the go-to is probably screen, though. What do you think? Yeah, let's try a screen and see how that feels. Right, let's try that screen. one on for size. So let's drag the poof. Let's select the poof here, and we will move the position, make it a little bit smaller, and we'll put it right where the ukulele is. Okay, that's looking pretty good so far. Get the smoke poof there. So it's looking pretty good right now, but the smoke poof is still a little bit too transparent. Yeah, we need more smokiness. So. We can do that by taking the smoke poof and we're gonna hold our alt key on the keyboard and drag it to the layer above. Yeah, so that's that a little we're, bit better. we're sort of overlaying it twice, <laughs> copying it twice. Maybe and let's try it one more time. time. Yeah. 
So we got three smoke layers here with the same blind mode. And uh, I think that's looking a lot better. There we go. Yeah. That's like... Yeah, hey, yeah. That looks looking pretty good. Yeah. I like that. All yes. right, so now we're just gonna add a sound effect. To yeah, because that kind of that kind of ties it together. Yeah, it sort of ties it this together. This is an audio visual medium, so the two work together. Yeah, you so need you, a poof sound. You need the sound because otherwise it just looks it just doesn't feel quite right. Exactly. But let's bring it into our premiere. And we will click on it twice to open up our source monitor. And then we'll select our audio here so we can see the waveform. And we'll just select the in point and out point for that form right there. And let's drag it right to the point where our poof goes off. Yeah. So let's see what that looks like. There we go. Nice. Now we're feeling it. Look at that movie magic right there. That so just makes all the difference. Yeah, so uh, let's take a look at what, what we've got here. I wish I had a ukulele because I have a song in my heart. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, hey, yeah. I like it. There we go. We did it. That's it, guys. That's pretty simple. That's the smoke tutorial. That is the smoke tutorial. And this is a rubber ball, rubber band ball. Mm, it sure, it, you got that right. I'm actually getting distracted because we have another computer over here to our left. Oh, and it's going off. The right mouse now. for that computer is freaking out. I think our light is like hitting it. That's weird. What's... And it makes it look like a ghost is using the computer. Yeah, what's going on over there? Oh, let's check this out, guys. Yeah, let's check this out. You're going to get a little the, the, bit of The tutorial light. is basically done. So yeah, let's, goodbye. Let's, let's see what's going on here. So if you look over here, this is what me and Brent are, are staring at right now. You got that mouse freaking out by itself. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Can you see it, guys? Comment below if you can see it. So, what is going on? We're not touching the, the mouse for it. It's just a ghost. I think maybe the studio is haunted now. I wouldn't be surprised. Is Would... that possible? I, I... Do we have a ghost situation on our hands? Mm. Like ghost from like Game of Thrones? Um, well, he's been mysteriously missing for the last like season and a half, so maybe he is a mysteriously ghost. Mysteriously missing. Probably because Brent and Bobby are the CGI editors for Game of Thrones. <laughs> and we're, just... And we're, we're just like, we don't feel like doing that yeah. anymore. We're but like, also, I, I feel like we might need to call in like the... Uh, the ghost hunters or something. Yeah, we need to deal with this ghost situation, guys. <sighs> yeah, Brent, you gotta go. Uh, you gotta go get that ghost out of the out of the closet. You, 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 you know some guys that do ghost hunting, right? I do. Uh, my good friend Zach Bagans, the Ghost Endeavor at the Ghost Endeavor clan. I think we might need to bring him in to deal with this. Yeah, this I'm is freaking nervous. me out, guys. It's um, freaking me out too. I think we're gonna have to. Do you hear that, Brent? <gasps> with Bobby and Brent. We'll start the video right there. Start there. That posture looks terrible, but that's okay. That's all right. Brent, Brent and his awkward body language. Yeah, exactly. It's so awkward. It's kind of my calling card, really. Yeah, it is. It's what I'm known for. And uh, I just slammed my mic. I was like, BAM! <laughs> Dude, your out. hair is getting really like... Emo. It's a, yeah, it's. I'm really. I'm trying to recapture my youth days when I was playing in emo bands. No, you need to to get the uh, the soul patch back. Yeah, we'll we'll put a couple pictures up here from my Oof, emo. My, look at that, Brent. My early twenties emo days. You Ooh. were my age in this, right? Oh man, I was so seen. Yeah, I was your age. Oof, don't. You don't have to maybe phrase I it should, like that. Maybe I should do it. <laughs> back in the day, Brent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to love Scott. Stop. You just keep growing your hair. I, I mean, I'm almost there. I just got to work on getting it to part. Perfectly down yeah, the middle, right down the center. Yeah, and I to get a nice, and, then, and I'm also gonna need plastic surgery to get the butt chin. Oh the yeah, cleft you, chin. You need the butt chin, or you I, can just like shave so that it looks like you're the butt just, chin. Just do some contour makeup. Yeah, yeah contour makeup <laughs> using your the layers of your yeah. beard. We'll put some links to some Instagram tutorials on how to do some <laughs> makeup <laughs> contour tutorials. What are we Scott doing? Scott Staff contour tutorial. Yeah. I, we said this program was gonna be quick, but yeah. it's turning out not to be. 